up, bud? What's up, my friend? Oh, man, good to be back. Yeah, another exciting car coming up. I'm telling you, we got. Uh, you know, before you start, I was thinking, dude. I don't know. Maybe it's like a pet peeve of mine, but mm -hmm. like, you ever notice how at the end of the show you always have to sit there and like be the last guy to like say, "See you next time." No. I mean, I mean, I, I hope it's not a problem. I mean. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's not a problem. I guess it's just, uh, I mean, you know, like, you know, like I started the show. Okay. And, well, and I mean, yeah, I just, you started it, but I mean. Yeah, yeah well, I guess it, it doesn't really matter who's. No, I don't, I don't think it's Who signs off last, I guess. It's, um, you know. I mean, it didn't bother me, really. I, I don't even know why I brought it up. Oh, no, no problem, no problem. What's up, guys? It's Brian. Jesse. You're watching MMA the Hard Way. In, in the, the car. car. Well, we are going back to Brazil. Wow. Man, I'll tell you, after watching the snore fest of uh, McDonald oh, and Ellenberger, I need man. myself some Brazil. Because if there's one thing the Brazilians always do, they deliver, oh, man. And Joe Rogan has said that that is the loudest crowds ever in Brazil. Oh, I love it when they go to Brazil because you just get... Uh, just, you just, you know, it's nothing but finishes. I mean, the last time they went to Brazil, yeah. that was like the record, I think. Yep. Like almost every single Brazil. fight. Brazil, Brazil. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's nuts. Yeah, we love us some Brazil, man. And um, uh, so we got UFC 163. Mm -hmm. uh, Go for it. Let's do it. Uh, up first is uh, Bristol Marundi versus Viscardi Andrade. Hopefully oh, I got it right. yeah. The, uh, the Walter Waits. Yeah. Uh, now, Bristol's coming off two, you know, he's got two losses, of course. Mm. Uh, Viscardi's got a five-win streak. Uh, pretty uh, pretty evenly ranked. Pretty evenly ranked. Which is going to be uh, it's gonna be an interesting fight. Yeah. I think uh, Marunde's coming off that a knockout. He got yeah. knocked up by an elbow by uh, Clint Hester. Oh, man. It was vicious. Guy. So he's probably looking for <laughs> redemption. And then you got Andrade. He's he's uh, that guy's been slaying, dude. So, oh yeah. Um, he's did two TKOs in a row, I think. So, so. hopefully, uh, you know, you know, we'll see what happens with this one. Uh, up next, after is French Mira Barroso versus Hernando Oliveira. Mm. Now, uh, light heavyweights. So you know, it's uh, it's gonna be exciting. French Mira's doing his debut, by the way. Oh yeah, and. Uh, uh, the fact that uh, Oliveira, I believe it has been 567 days, well, at least maybe as of today, mm -hmm. since he's fought. Think, didn't he? Uh, he fought Gun, uh, Gabriel Gonzaga once. Yeah, yeah, back in the past, he actually did. Mm -hmm. And um, he's actually not ranked due to inactivity. Yeah. So we could have some uh, possible. Uh, ring rust or cage rust, whatever we want to and call it. And this is uh, Brazil versus Brazil. Yeah. Both of them. Boy, so they're going to bring you. it. They're going to bring God, it. I love it how those guys yep. finish. Uh, up next is Honey Yaya versus uh, Josh Clompton. Oh, yeah. You know, gosh, Honey Yaya obviously is going to be the hometown mm -hmm. uh, favorite there. Yeah. And, um, you know, record of, uh, what is it, 140? They're fighting 145. He's got, coming in with a record of 18 and 7. And uh, Josh Clopton, though, you got to say, he's six and one. Uh -huh. And um, I don't think he's also one of those guys that. Uh, he's isn't been coming ranked. under the radar. Yeah. He's coming under the radar. I think his last fight was. Um, I think Steven Siler. Oh, yeah, Steven Siler. Yeah, back in what? Uh, December of 2011. Yeah, it's been a while, yeah. So, so he'll be hungry. Probably injury, I'm mm -hmm. thinking. Most of the time. Uh, yeah. Up next is uh, Uncle Creepy yeah. versus Hilardo uh, Santos. Oh, boy. You know, I, Uncle Creepy, you know, Ian McCall, obviously, he came in to the uh, inaugural mm -hmm. flyweight tournament as one of the favorites. Mm -hmm, he mm -hmm. was considered, in the rankings at least, mm -hmm. uh, through Tachi Palace fights as mm -hmm. being the number one flyweight in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, that first fight with DJ, he was... He had him mounted, yeah. you know, and he he's admitted since then that he, for some reason, there was he just wasn't taking it seriously. He's a he's. I mean, I saw some he's little so blurbs. Talented. He's he's talented and he's really 
He's really focused. Really, really focused. Yeah. Um, and now that, you know, you see guys like um, DJ and even, I mean, Formiga did a great job against Demetrius Johnson, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and, and Dodson. I mean, guys. Oh, man. These guys, that they're the picture of what kind of perfect fighter mm-hmm. you have to be to be in that the top it's, of you know not it, only is there a lot of the skill the bar is raised so high for high. God, the flyweights and, I mean and the fights are going a hundred miles an hour so you you have no time to make a mistake because it is yeah. they pick up on it really super quick so I expect to see probably the most incredible Ian McCall we've ever seen I'm hoping to I yeah. really I'm really hoping to yeah. uh, up next is Neil Magny versus uh, Sergio Moras oh yeah Sergio Moras uh, obviously he's you know Incredible mm-hmm. uh, jiu-jitsu mm-hmm. pedigree. Uh, that's his uh, major claim to fame. Mm-hmm. He's going to be uh, the fan favorite. And, oh, uh, crowd's going to go nuts for him. Oh, my gosh, yeah. You know, he's he's not ranked very high. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he's down at the bottom of the, the rankings. Which surprises me. Yeah. Um, I think it's just, you know, probably because, uh, you know, he, he got a loss to a guy that's not really ranked very high. Mm-hmm. And, Which uh, sucks. His yeah. whole thing is he came in with such fanfare about mm-hmm. his incredible ground game. Mm-hmm. But, you know, mixed martial arts, you know. Anything happens. Yeah. Anything happens. I mean, look what happened with we, Weaveman uh, Silva. You know? Yeah. Uh, up next is uh, Sheila Gaff versus Amanda Nunes. Yeah, you know, the women. The ladies. Coming back. It's great. You know, this is... Uh, Exposure. You know, this is probably... They may be the last of the non-Ultimate Fighter 135s. Because mm-hmm. the they're division. all going to be in the house. Because all the rest of them are, yeah, going to be in the house. And I'm, I'm glad be... that they're, you know, getting... Well, they're getting exposure. Yeah. Uh, and they're both pretty much e- almost evenly ranked. Yeah, uh, they're both top 20. Per Fight Matrix, you got uh, Sheila at 16 and Amanda Nunes at 19. So it's it's pretty almost even. Some, yeah. Pretty much almost just... You know, it's going to be a pretty interesting uh, card, and of course, uh, Nunes is going to be the fan favorite. You know, she, you know, Brazilians are going to go crazy for oh, her. Oh gosh, yeah, and you know, Sheila Gaff. I'll tell you though, she's no joke. Mm-mm. You know, she's, she's coming no off. Um, she's coming off a loss against Sarah McMahon, but mm-hmm. I got to say, Sarah McMahon is uh, incredible, high she's level. She's a beast. You know, yeah, she's and uh, to, you, amazing. you come off of a, a fight like that, you're just going to get. Better. It just makes you better. It, 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 you yeah. you find out your holes and you plug them. Yeah, and the other thing is Nunez is coming off a loss against uh, Sarah D'Elio. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I expect nothing other than just magnificent. They're going to both bring it. Yeah. They're both going to bring it. So that's all we've got. All uh, three limbs are here? Yeah, so uh, next uh, next show we'll have the main card mm-hmm. probably on Wednesday. So I guess that's about it. Uh, as always, I want to thank Fight Matrix for the excellent stats. I love the website and the, yeah. and the stats. And uh, be sure to subscribe and comment and share this with your friends. So, All right. We'll see you next time. Take care, my friends. Catch you on the flip side. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye. Keep it sexy. Yeah. Whatever he said. That, that, hey, 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 that's it.